Hey there. Guess who forgot he had a podcast to do tonight? <laughs> Not me. I take this very seriously. However, for the sake of argument, I am going to act like I got super stoned and then remembered I had to do the podcast. So uh, just bear with me. It's my me it's my method. So anyways, I did a podcast yesterday, another bonus uh, quarantine episode yesterday for all the folks at home waiting for the plague to dissipate. And uh, so in my mind, I was already like, oh, I'm done. I did my podcast. I'm a good boy. But I hadn't. That was a bonus p podcast. And as Kenneth on 30 Rock told us, bonus means extra. So you can't have extra if you don't have the X. So here's the X. I'm going to give it to you. Ha, 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 ha. Yeah, sorry. It's going to be like that. Um, however, the show is spectacular. It's Led Zeppelin, June 3rd, 1973, at the L.A. Forum. Um, unfortunately, it is not a Mike Millard tape. This uh, predates Mike Millard by like a year or so, or at least for Zeppelin, two years. But it is a very good audience tape with some flaws. It's okay. I got the best sounding of the, I guess there's just one source out there, and I have the, the best iteration of that um, that's readily available anyway that I could find. So it sounds perfectly fine. And well, what's neat about this is, well, there's a couple things that are neat. The first is that this show was recommended to me by David, who is a new patron. God bless you, David. But even before he paid me to love him, uh, he had suggested this and highly recommended the show. And I grabbed it and everything he said was right. And it's almost like, um, it's like this show to me, I mean, this sounds hokey, but it kind of is the last fully hippie Led Zeppelin show. You know, like on Blueberry Hill in 1970 when the audience was just completely enraptured and in the palm of their hand and there was a communion back and forth between audience and band. Um, this is like the very last time that that kind of happens. From this point forward, Zeppelin's still Zeppelin. I mean, we still have, like, the song remains the same, Zeppelin, in July of this of this tour. But um, you don't hear this connection, this particular level of uh, sparkle, again, I guess is uh, what I'm, how I'm trying to say it. And what we're going to listen to is, it's it's a long one because it's Zeppelin, but... Um, Heartbreaker, it's, it's, the, it's basically the last, the home stretch of the show because, um, all the songs preceding these were either songs I didn't want to play. Cause I mean, why do you want to hear rock and roll again, or even black dog or these songs that don't really change much from concert to concert. Um, and the ones that work like, like since I've been loving you had tape issues and I'm looking like tape issues. And you'll hear it here a couple of times, just with the tape going bow, whoop, as it kind of stretches, but it's it's totally fine. Um, it will happen in Heartbreaker, and it will take you by surprise. But, <coughs> sorry, but it'll be all right. So we're going to listen to Heartbreaker and Whole Lot of Love. Um, for this show, Heartbreaker went straight into Whole Lot of Love. Like, it, they didn't even finish Heartbreaker. They just went into Whole Lot of Love. It was really cool. Really, really cool, but it means that you have to listen to, heart, you know, seven minutes of Heartbreaker and then, you know, 25 minutes of Whole Lot of Love altogether, or else it sounds awful separating them. I tried it, um, but it's great. Heartbreaker is great, and Whole Lot of Love is fantastic, and they go into, uh, Jesus Christ, all the medleys, and, and not, the, not the common ones. They go into... Um, Going down. I'm going down, 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 down. Jeff Peck, right? And a really good version of that. And then they go into I'm a man, but down or no. And Hunter from how many more times? You know, call me the Hunter. That's my name. You do that. Then they go into the regular whole lot of love. Uh, one night I was laying down. And, um, then the theremin and all that in the funk, funky section with the crunch and 
then they get back to whole lot of love and the audience is just you could tell that they had totally forgotten that they were listening to a whole lot of love because it had been like 15 minutes of just solid other songs fast one after the other after the other after the other it's so good and then they get back into a whole lot of love and there's like the the yell of yay whole lot of love but it was like buffed by the exaltation of going yay back into a whole lot of love which means everything we heard was all part of this and it was just part of a flow and just the acknowledgement of the craftsmanship and the emotional manipulation and interplay of energies and all that hippie shit and magical shit is evident here and um it's just great so plus it's an la show and you know zeppelin always brought it when they played la so enjoy this this is exceptional and thank you david for recommending it so let's get into it here's heartbreaker into a whole lot of love it's going to be like 25 minutes um of of brilliance so you know brace yourself pee if you need to or whatever go get popcorn enjoy this enjoy this and i'll be back in a little while
Right? Right? Absolutely bonkers. Absolutely bonkers. So good. I mean, how can you not love this band, right? All right. Now that I've convinced you that Led Zeppelin is good, despite your resistance, let's move along. God, that was that was just fucking incredible. The joy. The joy in the voices of those idiots listening to that who are now old. Um... I love it. I love that there are tapes like this, that we could hear that, not just have the song remains the same, but like, oh, here's just a little moment of time captured illicitly for personal enjoyment, and then it just contributes to the culture, the the culture of the entire society. And we have this, you know, decades later, and it'll still be around decades from now, and it's just super cool. All right. What should we listen to next? Well, let's just go through the last songs. So from Whole Lot of Love, thank you very much. Good night, L.A. But not really, because we're coming back with The Ocean. Yes, The Ocean. Perhaps you're familiar with it. It's a song, and you're about to hear it. Yeah. 
Yes, right? Right? Exceptional. Exceptional. Wonderful show. All right, all right, settle down. Settle down now. Now. Thank you. All right. Um, that's such a fun song. The Ocean is such a fun song. God, I love that song. All right. Well, that's the ocean as we have established. Yeah. June 3rd, 1973. LA Forum. Now, let's plow ahead, as Mr. Burr would say. We've got, uh, all right, communication breakdown. This is another short but fun one. I'll be back, and then we'll bring it on home, which is not the song we'll be playing after communication breakdown. <gasps> What's it going to be, Mark? Well, unless I die, you'll know in a few moments. And if I die, then the secret dies with me. <laughs>
I let the applause go on because there was that dude that dude that just sounded like Jack Black. Like, yeah! Or James Hetfield. Uh, all right. Well, we are on the home stretch now. There's only 309 more minutes to go. No. We just have one more, two more songs, actually. Um, although it's all one song. It's all one song, man. Um, it's the organ solo. John Paul Jones organ. Going into Thank You, which ends the night. And it's quite pretty and quite lovely and quite fun and quite impressive. What's impressive, Mark? John Paul Jones' organ? Yes. <sighs> it's come to this. Dick jokes. <laughs> All right. All right, here we go. Organ solo. Thank you. June 3rd, 1973. But before I do that, let me read off the roll of patrons. Avi, Bill, David, also David. Jeremy, Mark, Mimo, and Peter. Those are the people that keep the lights on here. Bless them. Bless their homes. Bless them for seven generations. And if you want to be blessed for seven generations, become a patron on Patreon. Heart of Markness, Patreon, Patreon, Heart of Markness. You'll find me if you want to support the podcast. If you don't, then I hope you enjoy what you hear. It's free. Okie dokie. Let's move on to organ solo and thank you. I'll see you in a few minutes, friends. I can't find the cursor. There it is. I'll still see you in a few minutes. There's something else we'd like to say.
in my world It smiles Your hand in mine We both the miles Thanks to you It will be done For you to me Got your money's worth at that show, didn't you? <clears throat> Keep in mind, everything after a whole lot of love, um, we're all encores. So, communication breakdown, the ocean, encore, second encore. This is the third and final encore for that unbelievable fucking show that you just that they just witnessed. <clears throat> nice, very nice. I don't know. Still had a hint of that innocence or purity that uh, seemed to just degenerate into dirtiness, which was fine. I still love it. But um, I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm just a uh, romantic at heart. Or I'm just wrong. Or it's just my subjective perception. Let's not overthink it. Um, there we go. 
I will get this show, the entire show, not just these songs, up on my website, heartofmarkness.com, sometime this week, hopefully. And uh, you'll be able to download it for free and have the whole goddamn thing for yourself. And if you want to be friends on the internet, be friends with me. Um, I'm on Twitter, at Heart of Markness. And if you're on Facebook, we have a nice Facebook group, Heart of Markness. Join it. Be friends. Be among friends. Be among your own. And talk about Led Zeppelin. Learn about Led Zeppelin. It's Led Zeppelin, Led Zeppelin, and Led Zeppelin. And uh, Led Zeppelin to you. And also with you. So thank you for listening. I will uh, probably, if I can find a show that I want to crank out, get one, another one out this weekend of the bonus episode. Um, I'm trying to find some Stones shows that, uh, war- not warrant, but justify uh, a podcast. Not that the Stones don't, they're awesome, but um, the 69 tour is represented by Get Your Yaya's Out and represented well. The uh, 72 tour is represented by ladies and gentlemen and represented well. And then the 73 tour, the uh, Goat's Head Soup tour, is represented by a Brussels affair. And that's one of the best live albums of all time. So I don't really want to step on the toes of those things for shows because I'm not a Stones connoisseur. So um, I've got a nice 69 show that's good. I have a 75 show that's not that good. And... uh, I don't know. So maybe it'll be the Stones. Maybe it'll be something else. Maybe uh, another Mike Millard master will drop and I won't need to make a choice. I'll just grab it. Or maybe I won't do anything at all. Remains to be seen. Thank you for listening. And have a great everything. And be very careful. <laughs>